Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners of classes 11 and 12. We have been doing lot of activities in English language, uh, reading, writing, literature, uh, many more things and of course uh, some important things like notice writing, advertisement, many more. Learners, today we are going to do something different and very important thing and which will be helpful for you rest of your life not only for classes 11 and 12. So that is study skills. So study skills under which we are going to do making a note based on a reading of a text or listening to a lecture or radio talk, what else and what not. Learners, get ready to do this. I am our Meganathan from the Department of Education Languages, and with me is Kriti Gautam. Uh, Kriti. Uh, we will do note making today and of course learners you are with us and it's not just discussing interacting and uh, talking or lecturing we are going to do a lot of activities we hope and believe that you are also participating in it and doing it so that uh, they were the purpose of this lesson is realized and meaningful for you and also to us kriti yes sir uh, we're talking about study skills yes sir so why do we need study skills separately when we have textbook lessons, stories, poetry, different kinds of text, genres of text, varieties of text. Why do we need study skills separately? Sir, I think so we need study skills separately because our course or the teachers want us to go beyond the course prescribed to us. The, beyond the textbook. That's, beyond, that's well, well yeah. said, well done, well done and very, very, very well understood. Learners, we need to really learn the language for real life purposes, practical purposes like reading to do something because tomorrow you are going to be in, at the university uh, studying science, mathematics, engineering, uh, maybe astronomy, astrology, many, many things. Uh, in that case, you need to decode many texts, narratives, scientific principles narrated in text form. Okay. Whether it is uh, Einstein's principles or C. V. Raman's uh, whatever theory, then they are written in language. When we read, you need to really decode to understand. And every subject has its own characteristics. That is, we call it language register, science register, social science register, legal register, because uh, you know legal language is different. So we need to learn to understand the nature of the text. Then you make notes to understand what is said. Okay, sir. So, under study skills, today we are doing note making. Okay. Uh, sir, you have been talking about study skills. Mm. Sir, may I know what is study skills? Okay, when you read something, you study something to work on. One is you make notes and you note down. The other is uh, you summarize it to present it in a short abstract form. Okay, sir. Then um, sometimes nowadays uh, PowerPoint presentations are very popular. It's nothing but note making in a kind of thing. So I read a 10 pages text. Okay. Lot of things said. Then I have to make the important things to tell others, mm -hmm. to record somewhere. So we need note making. Okay. Sir. This is one. Another is you listen to your teachers at the university in school or you listen to some uh, radio talk or an important scientist or somebody speaking, you want to note down. You can't write everything people speak. So what do you do? So you note down the points. So this is called note making or note taking. So why note making and note taking? Because we are academics, students, uh, teachers, professors or scientists, we need to interpret the text. That's what you said, moving beyond the text. When yes. you read a story, then after some time you have to tell somebody in the same language or in some other language, what do you do? Generally, you summarize it and say. So, summarizing is another study skill. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, that learners, I think the importance, uh, I think is understood very well. What we do is without uh, taking much of the time, let's take up some text, then read, to understand then make notes. Okay sir. Sir I have one more question before we go forward. 
So do we have to follow any certain kind of a format when we are uh, note making? Fine. It's, it's a professional activity, so we need a format. Okay, so sir. don't bother about it now. Okay, but sir. when you make notes, we will come to know that. Okay, sir. All right. Now, learners, here is the text for you, which Kriti is going to read out to you. And this is from one of your previous year's question papers. And uh, before that, let us also tell our learners, 20 marks is allocated to uh, reading comprehension and study skills and 8 marks for note making and summarizing, uh, uh, 4 marks each. So this is also from examination point of view learners. Uh, that's secondary only for, us, for me because um, securing mark alone is not important. Of course, it's important, but learning the study skills is important. Fine. Now, you said uh, we read the text and make notes. Fine. So here is the text from one of the question papers. Uh, we are not taking the whole text, we are taking first two paragraphs. Okay, sir. Come on, let's read the text. Come on. Sure, mm. sir. Mm. The text is there before you and Kriti will read out. Okay. Mm. How does television affect our lives? It can be very helpful to people who carefully choose the shows that they watch. Television can increase our knowledge of the outside world. There are high quality programs that help us understand many fields of study, science, medicine, the different arts and so on. Moreover, television benefits very old people who can't leave the house as well as patients in hospitals. It also offers non-native speakers the advantages of daily informal language practice. They can increase their vocabulary and practice listening. Okay, that is the first paragraph learners. Now, she is reading the second paragraph. Come on, go ahead. On the other hand, there are several serious disadvantages of television. Of course, it provides us with a pleasant way to relax and spend our free time. But in some countries, people watch television for an average of six hours or more a day. Many children stare at the TV screen for more hours a day than they spend on anything else, including studying and sleeping. It's clear that TV has a powerful influence on their lives and that its influences is often negative. Very good. Okay. Priti, yes, learners, uh, we have read the passage, two paragraphs, and now we are going to underline, pick up the key words. So don't bother uh, to know much about key words. The key words are the important words which convey the overall meaning of the text, the, the passage, two paragraphs. So come on. Kriti is underlining, is going to underline the important key words of both, both the paragraphs. So come on, do it. Sure, sir. Affect. And don't you want to uh, say television is a key word? Yes, sir. Television is also a key word. Yes. Helpful. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Outside world. Mm -hmm. Science. Then. Medicine. Mm -hmm. Different arts. Benefits, mm. old people, mm. patients. Mm. Old people for lesser time. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Mm. Non-native speakers, mm. increase vocabulary, practice, listening. Okay. Listening, practice and they also learn language. Let's go to the second paragraph. Yeah. Sure, sir. Disadvantages, television, mm. relax. Mm -hmm. Spend free time. Three times more than their academic other, other work. Yes, sir. And then? Six hours. Okay. A day. Studying. Sleeping. TV. Powerful. Influence. But negative. Yes, sir. All right. Well done. Learners, this is what Kriti considers in keywords. It may differ. But however, I agree with her. Because these are the important keywords of this. Uh, two of these two paragraphs. Fine. Uh, well done, Kriti. Now, Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, learners, from this underlining of keywords, she read once uh, first, then while underlining the keywords, you also have read. So, almost two times you read. So, I, I would suggest even three times reading uh, is uh, more useful. Okay, and sir. if you, you, you have sufficient time in examination also, but while practicing, you may read three times, nothing wrong in there. So, underline. Fine. Now, having underlined, having found out the keywords, now we are going to move on to do the rough work before making notes. 
so we are not immediately doing learners let's understand every study skill activity and writing of course even reading has a process to understand fine come on let's do the rough okay sir so first of all i will write down the keywords now come on go ahead so i can say helpful hmm what is helpful so a person who helps the other one hmm then i can say knowledge no no what is helpful tv yeah tv <laughs> that you write first okay hmm then i can say outside world mm hmm then i can say science hmm. so what tv tv helps in yeah tv helps in building a uh, knowledge of outside world hmm. which also has science hmm. so and... knowledge outside world can be together fine all right so in the five work you do it okay sir medicine different arts okay then then i can write down benefits benefits of watching television yes sir hmm benefits of watching tv liko benefits of benefits of watching tv uh, you right okay sir benefits of watching tv old people mm hmm patients in the hospitals yeah non native speakers what do they do so they can understand new language through television and oh yeah that's right so non native speakers learn okay sir non native speakers learn other cultures okay you can uh, elaborate in the main point yes then, sir then television also helps hmm. television helps in increasing vocabulary so language learning takes place yes sir fine fine and also it helps in practice listening okay listening so you can put vocabulary and listening together when you make your point okay sir okay these are the keywords keywords yes sir of the first paragraph yes sir come on are you going to move to make uh, the points yes sir fine come on rough so work. for hmm. para 1 hmm. the main point or the heading i would say how does television tv you can write yes. tv no issue okay sir we will discuss that abbreviations later uh, after after this yeah hmm. affect our lives answer for para 2 no uh you are doing uh, keywords you got yes sir then the main point make some points uh, other points for the para 1 okay sir In para we need not bother about para 2 now come on mm -hmm. so sir i can say that tv is helpful hmm don't write complete sentences this is one one important thing you have to remember okay sir television affects lives then helpful in what okay that's all okay so instead of tv is helpful i can say helpful hmm in building knowledge hmm knowledge of outside world yes sir then i can say knowledge of outside world hmm sub sub point yeah we will discuss later then second point then i can say knowledge of science science go ahead with that same thing comma okay then medicine mm mm-hmm. mhm so this is how etc you are putting the key words into points yes sir okay. then then i can say benefits of watching tv mm mm-hmm. mhm so tv benefits old people at ho at homes tv benefits patients in hospital great
TV also benefits non-native speakers. Make it in what? In in learning language. Okay. In learning vocabulary and listening. You said very well. Okay, sir. Hmm. In learning vocabulary and listening. Fine. All right. Now, how many points you are making out of this paragraph? Main points. There are two. Yes, sir. This and this. Yes, sir. I'm very happy that uh, you wrote something and scored up. So we can't expect learners uh, everything perfect from the beginning. This is a rough work. That's why that's why it's called rough work. Now you got uh, two main points yes, and sir. Uh, two or three sub points for yes. each. Now I'm going to tell you something very important. Note making. There is no complete sentence. It's notes. Okay, sir. Sir, now I will work on points for para two. Fine. It's your rough work. You do your way. Okay, sir. Keywords. Para two. Para two. Fine. Quickly. Sure, sir. Sir, the keywords can be disadvantages. Of TV. Of TV. Hmm. Relaxing in free time. Six hours a day. So many. At the cost of what? So at the cost of not studying or hmm. not eating properly. Hmm. Then. <clears throat> that has to come. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I will write. That maybe sub point of this. Okay. Hmm. Studying. And sleeping. Then I can say TV has a powerful influence. So television, a powerful influence. Very good. So, sir, these would these would be my keywords. So, what is that powerful? See, you can't simply give you a keyword. Okay, sir. Uh, without uh, uh, what's it? Not being complete. Okay, sir. Be, so. Powerful influence on whom? Sir, on the on children or read, on, read the on last adults. sentence of the text. Sure, sir. I will read it. It says it's clear that TV has a powerful influence on their lives and that its influence is often negative. Mm. Keyword is negative also. Yes, sir. So, so negative influence. A powerful influ a powerful influence on children. Mm. A negative powerful influence. Fine. That's what. Okay. So it's it's a short paragraph. So how many points you are going to make? Okay, sir. Hmm. So for points, I will write down disadvantages of TV. Of watching TV. Okay, sir. So, sir, I can say um, it takes our relaxing time. I have said, okay, it's only rough work. Yes, sir. No complete sentence. Okay, sir. So, Sorry, what you sir. can do, it, you can drop it. Okay, sir. Okay? Hmm. Okay, sir. Takes away. Okay. Right? Uh, you should be writing, yeah. Hmm. Fine. I should not be saying anything. Okay. Hmm. Sir, the next point will, will be six hours a day. Hmm. On TV. On TV. See, any point you write... The reader will not be there for your explanation. Yes, sir. Someone who reads the notes mm -hmm. should be able to come to the nearer to the main text from which you made the notes. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Okay, okay all right. Hmm. So we can also say <clears throat> takes away studying time. Hmm. Not only study. Studying, comma sleeping time. Okay. Fine. And then I can say TV a negative influence. Hmm. TV has negative influence. Yes, sir. Right. Now, this is what the rough work. Kriti and learners, we are going to use abbreviations. Whichever word you can abbreviate meaningfully that you will have to now think and use it in the final note. Okay, sir. And already I am seeing one uh, 
abbreviation television you have made it into tv, TV. Yes. And, uh, means spontaneously without knowing and you also used uh, the symbol uh, for and. and yes learners he has done the rough work here it is for you you have, you have watched it now from here she is going to develop the final note following a format now let me come to what you asked some time ago yes. about uh, the format come on there is a format okay, so let us follow any one of the formats but i would give one format that is really good and interesting and that in a way it's modern let's okay. follow it but before you make notes let me also tell you the learners and kriti uh, you will have to make at least uh, three or uh, three to four abbreviations of the words sentences or use symbols okay sir so wherever you can abbreviate suppose education you can put it as e d e language l a n g u a g e you can write l a n g but whenever you you use an abbreviation use a full stop okay uh, that 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 makes people known that this is an abbreviation another thing you can use acronym like unesco uh, what's that uh, some, sometimes uh, abbreviations like usa w h o i s r o so wherever uh, wherever needed okay, but okay sir it it should be related you need not use deliberately and you can't make your own abbreviations but whatever is acceptable okay sir. come on learners kriti is going to do the final make uh, to, uh, final note okay sir so be, now what what and all you did you read it twice and underlined the keywords then you did the rough work now the note making final note. come on let's watch and listen to kriti who is making the following the format and including abbreviations so now i will write down a fair hmm. i will begin with the heading so i will give the heading point number 1 how tv affect lives Fine. Now, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Now I will make a subheading hmm. that Sub is one point one, and I would say helping in building knowledge. Okay, television helps in building knowledge. Fine. Then under this, I will say. Uh, One point one point one sub subheading sub okay. subheading hmm. knowledge of outside world good one point one point two knowledge of science. medicine etc well, now sir i will write down the second subheading 1.2 hmm. benefits of watching tv okay under this i will write down sub sub heading 1.2.1 fine all people at home so it helps yes sir then 1.2.2 patients in hospital fine One point two point three non-native speakers. Fine, non-native speakers. Someone who doesn't know the language and trying to learn. Yes. Sir. Okay. Suppose I may watch English channel or French channel and learn something. Yes, sir. What do they learn? Sir, they learn. I will give another sub sub heading under this one point two point three point one. Oh, great! Very good. vocabulary and listening 
Great. Now I will move on to the second heading, sir. That is in a way second paragraph. Second paragraph. Very good. And I would say disadvantages. of watching TV. Under this I will give a subheading 2.1 takes away our time. Great. And under this sub subheading I will give 2.1.1 relaxing time so our relaxing time is taken away. Yes, and, sir. Uh, and Kredi, you must remember, you are only giving the notes of whatever is in the text. Yes, sir. Not whatever you think. Yes, sir. Sometimes we are swayed away by our feeling and thinking. And the next, sir, I would give study and sleep time. Is taken away. Yes, sir. Then. So the next subheading I would give 2.2. 6 hours. Six hours a day spent on TV. Okay, all right. You mean, yeah, people yes, watch. Sir. Okay. Mm. 2.3 TV a uh, negative influence. Now, Kriti, yes, well, well done. Fantastic job. Thank you, sir. But, but you have forgotten one important thing. Yes, sir. I have forgotten the overall heading. Please, please write that, right? Okay, there. sir. It should be attractive, but capturing the ideas of the passage. Okay, sir. The text. Sir, I will write down television. A boon. Or bane. Okay, very good. Uh, very, 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 very suitable title. But now, now learners, let's take a look at um, how she has done. And this is not the one and only way, only way of doing. This is not the one and only way of doing. You can do it many ways. Some of the points may be a, what she has written as sub sub points may be main, main points. Fine. How TV affects our life. So you should supply yes. Okay, sir. Right, right that, right that. Affects our life is also fine because that's what the passage is talking about. So TV affects our lives. Fine. Though we don't have to write complete sentences, sometimes it requires. Okay, sir. Okay, this is fine. Knowledge of outside world, knowledge of science. I am very happy that you, you have used abbreviations. Then, then uh, abbreviations many times, television. And this, do you feel that all the, the gist of the paragraph has been um, brought out? Yes, sir. I, then I agree. Think so. I agree with that. Then, uh, see, benefits of watching television. So, old people, suppose someone who has never read the passage mm -hmm. is reading it. So, we may say helps. Okay, sir. Then other things are fine. Uh, then look at it. Have you ever used abbreviations? I mean symbols? Yes, sir. I have. Okay. And you have used. Then, of course, uh, one abbreviation, two. I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank sir, you. even this one negative uh, and you should not invent new abbreviations abbreviation should be acceptable okay sir learners this is what a model it's not the one and only model you may follow it and we are going to request you to do one or two such uh, note making passages from your cbsc question paper or even any newspaper article or from even science social science uh, mathematics textbooks Fine. Well done, Kirti. Thank you, sir. Now, learners, this is the final notes with us. You read the two paragraphs yes, on sir. television and its uh, effects, impact on life, then its negative effects. So, it has two more paragraphs. We are not doing it, learners, and we have done it because you may carry forward. We may show you the rest of the text uh, for you to do at home and show to your uh, peers, neighbors and teachers. Fine. Now, having done the notes, what have you learnt? One is a study skill, another is note making. 
Sir, as a study skill, I now know how to score more marks. Okay, leave alone marks. That is one okay. thing. Then what? So I th I said something important. This are the anyway not steps. These are the things we did mm -hmm. while doing that. You talk about okay. marks is okay. Fine. Sir, mm -hmm. sir, I I learned that how I can make notes and not only in my school. This will be all over with with me in my future life. And I can make notes whenever I am in a. You, whenever I'm in college or university, that's or one. That, yeah, that's fine. Lecture. That's that's very great. Good, but it's a lifelong learning. Yes, we sir. call it. That's one. Another is, I said, keywords. Any any text, any speech, keywords are important. Yes, sir. Then you underlined it. Yes, sir. So, then if you practice for some time, you, you will capture the uh, keywords without you even uh, under under need to underline it. Underline it. So keywords are important. Then. One another thing, important thing we should know: each paragraph has a, an important sentence, which is called the topic sentence. Mm -hmm. So, what would you call the topic sentence in the first paragraph? Sir, I would say effect of television on our lives. Uh, I am asking a sentence from the text, okay, sir. not the summary of the summary statement from uh, you made. But I am saying a sentence which might convey the overall purpose of the. Paragraph. Okay, sir. Sir, yeah. I would say, how does television affect our lives? Okay, so you can you have the same thing. You have put it as the first main point. Yes, sir. That's one. Second thing, uh, then from the keywords, you found the topic sentence, then the sub points. Yes, sir. The, in the rough work, you have really done it very well. Thank you, then, sir. Then, then, then you made it as a, a notes. Now, learners, each paragraph has a main point. Then, in order to support that main main point, main sentence, there are many. Supplementary sentences to give uh, to uh, as examples or illustrations to support the main. So the main topic sentence is your main point. Then others are your sub point. Then there are other points we, which we call it sub sub point. So that's what she has followed it. Uh, this is regarding the format. So we may spend two more minutes on the format, which goes like this: the so main point, sub point, sub sub point. Uh, Kriti, yes, that's sir. what that's what note making is. Learners, uh, we have today learnt how to read a text uh, and study it carefully. Notice the keywords, then m find the topic sentence that is main point and sub sub points. Then we also have made a note successfully based on our reading of two paragraphs. So let me thank you, learners, for having been part of it, and I must also thank you, Kriti. For your active participation, as usual. Thank uh, you, sir, for having me in a very interesting session. Thank you very much, learners. We will meet you in the part two of note making uh, in the next episode. Till then, take care. Thank you.